Nestled in the heart of the Alps, the Martigny to Chamonix train journey is one of Europe's most breathtaking railway experiences. But there's more to this route than just stunning scenery. Today, we're diving into the lesser-known facts about this iconic train ride that connects Switzerland to France. The Martigny to Chamonix Railway, officially known as the Mont Blanc Express, has been in operation since 1906. Originally built to connect the Rhone Valley with the Mont Blanc Massif, it was one of the first transnational railways in the region, linking two countries through the Alps. The route spans just 38 kilometers, but don't be fooled by the short distance. The train navigates a dramatic altitude change of over 1,500 meters. In just over an hour, passengers are taken from the vineyards of Martigny to the high alpine valleys of Chamonix, all while traversing 34 bridges and 17 tunnels. The Martigny to Chamonix train crosses some of the most geologically diverse terrains in the Alps. Passengers can witness everything from glacier-carved valleys to ancient rock formations. One of the highlights is the Treant Gorge, where the train passes close to towering cliffs and waterfalls. Despite its rugged route, the Martigny to Chamonix Railway was a pioneering effort in electrification. In 1906, it was one of the first railways in Europe to be electrified using hydroelectric power harnessed from the region's abundant mountain streams. Winter on this route is a magical experience. The train is specially equipped to handle heavy snowfall, with snowplows and heating systems ensuring that the journey remains smooth even during the harshest alpine winters. Skiers and snowboarders often use this train to reach the famous slopes of Chamonix. The panoramic windows of the Mont Blanc Express are more than just a design feature. They were introduced to offer an immersive experience of the surrounding landscape. Every season brings a different view, whether it's the blooming wildflowers of summer or the golden foliage of autumn. The Martigny to Chamonix Railway is one of the few cross-border trains in Europe where you can still experience the charm of international rail travel. Though Switzerland is not part of the European Union, Seamless travel is made possible through agreements that date back decades, allowing this train to cross into French territory without customs checks. The train offers one of the best views of Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in the Alps. On clear days, passengers can catch glimpses of its towering peak, which stands at 4,808 meters. This site alone is worth the trip. The journey ends in Chamonix, a town that has long been a hub for mountaineers and adventurers. But did you know that the station here is also a starting point for the world-famous Mont Blanc Tramway? This tramway takes you even closer to the heart of the Mont Blanc Massif, reaching an altitude of 2,372 meters. Alpine flora and fauna The Martigny to Chamonix Railway not only offers stunning views but also serves as a corridor through some of the most biodiverse areas in the Alps. Passengers often catch glimpses of rare alpine flora like Edelweiss and Gentian, as well as wildlife such as Ibex, Chamois, and even Golden Eagles. This makes the journey a real treat for nature enthusiasts. Engineering against nature The railway's construction was an incredible feat of engineering especially considering the challenges posed by avalanches. Special avalanche galleries and snowsheds were built along the route to protect the train and its passengers from the dangerous snowslides that are common in the region, especially in the winter months. Historic stations Many of the stations along the Martigny to Chamonix route have retained their historic charm. The architecture of these stations dates back to the early 20th century, featuring traditional Swiss and French Alpine designs. Some stations, like the one in Le Chatelard, even have original fixtures and signage, offering a nostalgic glimpse into the past. Eco-friendly travel in recent years, the Mont Blanc Express has undergone several upgrades to enhance its eco-friendliness. The trains are now powered by green electricity sourced from hydroelectric plants in the region making this journey one of the most sustainable ways to explore the Alps. 
The famous viaducts One of the highlights of the journey is crossing the spectacular viaducts that span deep gorges and valleys. The most famous of these is the Viaduct du Châtelard, which offers sweeping views of the surrounding landscape. These viaducts were engineering marvels of their time and remain crucial components of the railway. Filming location The Martinique to Chamonix Railway has been featured in several films and documentaries due to its dramatic scenery. It's a favorite location for filmmakers looking to capture the quintessential alpine landscape. The railway's cinematic appeal adds another layer of allure to this already picturesque journey. All season operation Unlike many mountain trains that operate seasonally, the Martinique to Chamonix train runs year-round. Each season offers a completely different experience from the lush greenery of summer to the snowy wonderland of winter. The railway's ability to operate in all weather conditions is a testament to the robust infrastructure and meticulous planning behind its construction. Cross-cultural connection The Martinique to Chamonix train not only connects two countries but also two distinct cultural regions. In Martinique, you're in the French-speaking part of Switzerland, while Chamonix lies in the heart of the French Alps. This journey offers passengers a unique opportunity to experience the subtle cultural differences between these neighboring regions. The Glacier Express connection for those who want to extend their alpine adventure, Martinique is also a connecting point for the Glacier Express, one of the most famous scenic train rides in the world. This makes the Martinique to Chamonix route a perfect addition to a broader Swiss rail journey offering a seamless transition between different iconic rail experiences. The train's role in World War II During World War II, the Martinique to Chamonix Railway played a strategic role as a transportation route for the movement of goods and personnel between Switzerland and France. Although Switzerland remained neutral during the war, this railway line was closely monitored and occasionally used for clandestine operations, making it an intriguing part of wartime history. The journey through time The Martinique to Chamonix Railway isn't just a journey through the Alps. It's also a journey through geological time. The route passes through areas where the rock formations date back hundreds of millions of years, offering passengers a glimpse into the Earth's distant past. Some of the rocks visible along the route are remnants of ancient seabeds that were uplifted during the formation of the Alps. The legendary Swiss watchmakers The Town of Martigny, the starting point of the journey, has historical ties to the renowned Swiss watchmaking industry. Many watchmakers from the region would travel to France and Italy via this railway to source materials and expand their trade. This connection highlights the train's role in fostering economic and cultural exchanges in the region. The influence of Victor Hugo The famous French writer Victor Hugo was so inspired by the beauty of the Mont Blanc region that he wrote extensively about it. His descriptions of the Alps contributed to the growing popularity of the area as a travel destination in the 19th century, which eventually led to the construction of the Martigny to Chamonix railway to accommodate the influx of tourists. The unique climbing challenges the Mont Blanc Express passes through some of the most challenging climbing areas in the Alps, including the Aiguilles Rouges and the Mont Blanc Massif itself. Many mountaineers use this train to access these rugged peaks, and some sections of the railway were even designed with the input of climbers to ensure it could safely navigate the treacherous terrain. The importance of the Treant Glacier The train route offers spectacular views of the Treant Glacier, one of the major glaciers in the Mont Blanc Massif. This glacier has been a crucial source of water for the region's rivers and hydroelectric power. Its presence has also influenced local climate patterns, making the area a unique microclimate within the larger alpine environment. The birthplace of alpine tourism Chamonix, the terminus of the railway, is often regarded as the birthplace of modern alpine tourism. The first Winter Olympics were held here in 1924, which further boosted the popularity of the region. The Martinique to Chamonix Railway played a significant role in bringing visitors to this historic event, cementing its place in the annals of winter sports history. 
The connection to literary history the route from Martigny to Chamonix has inspired numerous writers and poets over the centuries. In addition to Victor Hugo, British poet Percy Bysshe Shelley and his wife Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein, visited the region in the early 19th century. Their writings help romanticize the Alps, contributing to the mystique and allure of the region. The railway is an artistic muse the dramatic landscapes along the Martigny to Chamonix route have inspired countless artists, photographers, and painters. The railway itself has been the subject of many artworks, particularly in the early 20th century, when the rise of travel posters helped promote tourism. Some of these vintage posters featuring the Mont Blanc Express are now highly collectible pieces of art. The Chamonix Valley's microclimate The Chamonix Valley, where the train route ends, is known for its unique microclimate. The combination of high mountains and deep valleys creates weather patterns that can change rapidly, sometimes even within a few kilometers. This adds an element of unpredictability to the journey, as passengers might experience sunshine, rain, and snow all in a single trip. The Rack Railway section A unique feature of the Martigny to Chamonix line is its Rack Railway section. In particularly steep areas, the train uses a cogwheel system, which helps it climb gradients that would be impossible for a conventional train. This system allows the train to tackle inclines of up to 20%, making it one of the steepest railway lines in the Alps. UNESCO World Heritage Connection While the Martigny to Chamonix train route itself isn't a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it connects to areas of great cultural and natural significance. The nearby Laveau Vineyard Terraces, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, can be accessed via Martigny. Additionally, the Mont Blanc Massif, visible from the train, is part of the natural beauty that contributes to the region's global recognition. Local legends and folklore The areas around the Martigny to Chamonix route are steeped in local legends and folklore. One such tale involves the mythical, Dahu, a creature said to roam the slopes with legs shorter on one side than the other, adapted to the steep terrain. While purely fictional, these stories add a layer of cultural intrigue to the journey. The evolution of train cars The train cars used on the Martigny to Chamonix route have evolved significantly over the years. The original cars were wooden and quite basic, designed primarily for functionality. Today, the train boasts modern, comfortable carriages with panoramic windows, offering passengers a luxurious way to experience the dramatic alpine scenery. A route of spiritual significance The path of the Martigny to Chamonix train has historical significance in religious pilgrimages. Martigny has long been a stop for pilgrims heading to Rome via the Great Street Bernard Pass. The train route passes near ancient pilgrimage paths, adding a spiritual dimension to the journey for those who are aware of its history. The train's role in scientific research The Mont Blanc region has been a center for scientific research for centuries, particularly in the fields of geology, glaciology, and climatology. The train route has facilitated access to remote research stations, allowing scientists to study the unique environmental conditions of the High Alps. These studies have contributed significantly to our understanding of climate change and its impact on mountainous regions. The Chamonix Valley's rich artistic history The Chamonix Valley has been a hub for artists and writers for centuries, with the Martigny to Chamonix train playing a role in this cultural exchange. The train brought artists from all over Europe to the valley, where they found inspiration in the breathtaking landscapes. Some of the most famous works of Alpine art were created by artists who traveled this route. The importance of the Salvin Station Salvin, a small village along the route, is known for its historical connection to the early development of radio technology. The famous inventor Guglielmo Marconi conducted some of his first wireless telegraphy experiments in Salvin, and the train provided crucial access for his team. Today, a small museum in Salvin commemorates this pioneering work in communication.
The Martinique Chatelard Railways founders the railway was developed by a group of Swiss and French entrepreneurs who recognized the potential for a scenic route connecting Martinique with Chamonix. These visionaries overcame significant technical and financial challenges to bring their project to life, and their efforts laid the groundwork for what would become one of the most famous mountain railways in Europe. The cultural significance of Valorcini Valorcini, one of the stops along the route, is a small village with a rich cultural heritage. It is the last village before crossing into France from Switzerland and is known for its unique blend of Swiss and French Alpine traditions. The village hosts several cultural events throughout the year, many of which can be accessed via the train, making Valorcini a hidden gem for culturally curious travelers. So, whether you're a railway enthusiast, a nature lover, or just looking for a unique travel experience, the Martinique to Chamonix train offers more than just a journey. It's an adventure through time, nature, and international borders. If you enjoyed learning about this incredible route, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more railway stories from around the world. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next ride.